Last week, news about a reporter's media credential being revoked by the PGA Tour was the biggest story in golf. The crime? Using Periscope, that new Twitter-owned app that allows users to live stream video from their mobile devices during a practice round at the WGC Cadillac Match Play Championship. To make sense of what happened, I'm now joined by the reporter in question, golf journalist Stephanie Way. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Katie. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. In a nutshell, I mean, it's been, what, a week since this happened? A little over a week. So explain to me where you're at right now, what your feelings are in the situation. Well, I'm still a little bit shocked by the severity of the punishment by taking away my credentials for the rest of the season. For full disclosure, I had an offense or violation earlier this year where I completely forgot and innocently posted um, Instagram videos of Tiger Woods during a practice round. Right. Um, they told me to take it down. We had a little chat. But when I decided to use Periscope... So that was earlier this year? That was like in January or February. Right. So there was a warning, you took it down, conversation, yeah. and then flash forward to now. Yeah, I heard, heard about Periscope, and there was all this hype about Periscope. And I was like, oh, like I was at the match play championship wandering the practice grounds, and I thought, Oh, this would be a cool time to like try out Periscope. It's yeah. kind of the spur of the moment. And I wasn't thinking about the regulations or what have you, but I just thought saw it as a way to engage fans. Of course. You know, and I don't have you used Periscope before? I haven't yet because I don't find myself to be that interesting. And oh. so I'm only ever around myself. And so I'm not gonna be like, here I am, everyone. Eating Cheerios. Right. It's just right. not exciting. But well, I understand why you would. Yeah. If you're out in the field, it's practice. Yeah. Practice. Practice. We're talking, talking about, about practice. practice. Um and, and you wanna and you wanna video it. Right. And I, it brings the fans closer. So it's exactly. it's one of those things where Periscope is for the fans. It's great for fans. Right. So they can see something that is not gonna be televised, right. that's in a different way only to build up interest in the actual tournament. That right. was really what I was thinking about. And it's great for fan engagement because comments start popping up on right. the screen. Right, and so you can ask people yeah. questions while you're engaging Right, with them. when I was talking with a player, you know, I was telling him about Periscope and the questions started pop popping up and I relayed them to him and he answered them and people like loved it. They were like- So the PGA's issue? The tour's issue is I violated the video regulations. And then midway, I, I will admit, midway through while my Periscope escapade, I was like, oh wait. Does this like count as video? But that's the thing, and that's what makes this so interesting is like, is this okay? You don't really know because right. it's not like they can write in the rule book, uh, Periscope, which will be invented two years yeah. from now, can't use that. So I mean, we're sort of making it up on the fly. Right. And I guess that's what makes this also interesting is, is do you err on the side of, oh, I'll try it, see what they say, or is everybody just erring on the side of, I'm, I'm not gonna even go there? Our job, I think, yeah. and I could be wrong, is, is to sort of give fans a closer look at the experience. And that's why Periscope is so great and Vine and Twitter and all this stuff brings us all closer together. Right. But I sort of do see the PGA side. I do too. Like, I understand, like, I messed up. I should have called, I should have asked for clarification. You know, even midway through when I wasn't, when I was like, ooh, am I like, is this allowed? I should have stopped and called someone right. and asked. But at the same time, it was a practice round that no one was broadcasting, and it was like snippets. It wasn't like I was holding the whole thing for like an hour. Right. You know, it was just like little Which would have been thrilling. An yeah, hour it would have been really practice. exciting. Golf practice, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, it was just like a minute or two clips here and there. But it's People not even... Shots. I mean, first of all, I'm glad you did it. A, because we can have this conversation, <laughs> and B, because you would be there today and wouldn't be able to I be would. here with me. I would have so been I'm actually kind of glad they did it. But, also because this is a conversation that needs to be had. I mean, with the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight, it was yeah. the same thing. I will admit, I watched the last round of the fight on someone periscoping their really? television. Because I'm not paying $100 to that domestic abuser. Yeah. But also because <laughs> just, I, I, I realized I could, I didn't realize that you could do that. And, and now I'm hearing there's you know lawsuits and they're trying to track down these people. Right. It's just so interesting of how these this new media is going to affect Right. Rights and and f it's sort of like what you were saying earlier. The music, the music, like music Napster piracy. and yeah. I think in golf you're not gonna. There's no like secret that you're gonna give away really. Like in football, yeah. you know, like who's practicing, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, Bill Belichick would say filming practice also not a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would love that. Um, I want to keep talking to you about this. Will you stick around yeah. and talk a little bit more? We're gonna put that online. You can find that on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Thank you.